بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وبعد uh, Continuations uh, with the rules of the prayer We're still talking about uh, <coughs> البسملة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The rules of بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم And uh, tonight إن شاء الله we'll talk about the بسملة um, on the slaughtering when we do slaughtering <coughs> um, One of the um, the Islamic rules that we don't eat meat without slaughtering. The only way for us to eat meat um, from any type, chicken or uh, <coughs> beef, or um, it's the, this the only way for us to eat it is slaughtering. Except the seafood. Oh uh, yes, uh, seafood if we would like to call it meat, um, just, uh, uh, Metaphoric is not, it's not a real meat. Um, the, um, then the vast majority of scholars, Hanafi and Maliki and Hanbali, in the most common opinion, um, they said, uh, saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, when you do slaughtering, it's a wajib, it's a mandatory. Um, and they used the verse, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا مِمَّا لَمْ يُذْكَرِ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ Don't eat any meat if the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not mentioned. If the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not mentioned. Then لا تَأْكُلُوا Don't eat. They are not one um, in, in the, the restriction they are not one level. On the top of the restriction you'll see Hanafi. Uh, for them, it's the issue of um, eating a meat with the slaughtering. It's it's a big it's a big issue, and they have a principle saying that all of the meat is prohibited, except for the fundamental that the meat is prohibited, except for the one um, the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala was mentioned. Um, Versus this opinion, uh, this is the opinion of the vast majority, um, versus this opinion we have Shafi'i and one report in Hanbali, one report in Hanbali. They said, Tasmiya saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, on slaughtering, it's not a wajib, it's a sunnah. It's a sunnah. This means if you did not say it, this is different from saying something else, but if you did not, if you kept silent, did not say anything, then it's still, uh, you missed the preference, you missed the preference, but the meat is still halal as far as you did it yourself. Um, and they are using another analysis. They said, um, if it's Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, it's um, a pillar in eating a meat, then we should not be allowed to eat from the meat of people of the book. Because definitely, most of them, they don't say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. They don't know Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim from the first place. And the Quran said clearly that, وَطَعَامُ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ حِلُّ لَكُمْ The meat of the people of the book is okay for you. Your meat is okay for them, and, your, and their meat is okay for you. They said, the Quran, and the, the, uh, we don't require from the people of the book to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim because this is not part of their tradition or part of their literature. Um, and they reply to um, the verse that was used by the Hanafi and the uh, Maliki and, Sh and Hanbali. ولا تأكلوا مما لم يذكر اسم الله عليه. They said yes, we agree with this. Don't eat from something that the name of Allah subhanahu wa taala was not mentioned. But they said the key is the prohibition here. If they mentioned another name, they didn't mention the name of Allah, but they mentioned another name. I slaughter in the name of Jesus, in the name of um, Israel, in the name of anything in the name of Buddha, in the name of anything they believe in. But they said the ayah is referring to, not referring to the neutral case, which is you, you mentioned nothing, but it's referring to if someone else, 
did slaughter, but he did slaughter with in a name, uh, in another name, uh, other than Allah Subhanahu, in a name other than Allah. Um, and this will lead us to the issue of um, the slaughtering of people of the book. I will not go on the de all of the details to give you headache with the issue because this, whenever you go to any masjid or you are inviting a new sheikh, this is one of the uh, repeated questions. But people of the book are three types. Th they have three scenarios dealing with the people of the uh, meat of the people of the book um, will give will uh, fall in three scenarios. The first one that this person, the Christian or Jews, he mentioned the name of Allah. When he slaughtered, he said, Bismillah, or by Allah, by God, in the name of God, anything in, in his language even. If he said this, then it's okay to meet according to all of this, uh, all of the mazhab. Because he, uh, we got an exemption, one of the verses of the Quran said, it's okay for you to eat from the meat of the people of the book. And also he mentioned the name of Allah. He did mention the name of Allah. For then if he did mention the name of Allah and he's a Christian or Jew, then we treat the situation like the Muslim did slaughter. The second one, which is, um, he did mention another name according to his belief for in the name of Jesus because we consider Jesus son of God or God himself in the name of Jesus or in the name of Israel or in the name of Moses um, if they, they mention this according to the vast majority of scholars the vast majority of scholars this meat is prohibited and because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala precisely said, وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا مِمَّا لَمْ يُذْكَرِ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ means if someone mentioned a name other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in slaughtering, this mean is, uh, is prohibited. Small group, and I said the vast majority of scholars, small group of scholars, they said, even if they mentioned the name of Jesus, it should be okay as far as they are people of the book. Why? Because their analysis, they said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse, did not make any restrictions. He didn't say, meet, eat the meat of people of the book if they mention the name of Allah. Or if they, de if they mention the name of Jesus, don't eat. We don't have this in the verse. Allah revealed this verse to these people and he knows that they might mention the name of Jesus or the name of anyone else according to their belief. And he said it's okay to eat from them. For this is uh, um, um, the minority, very minority of scholars. The third scenario that we don't know, we got the meat from the people, one of the people of the book, we don't know if he mentioned the name of Allah or he mentioned the name of Jesus or he mentioned the name of anyone else, we don't know. In this case, we call nastashib al asl. We um, um, give him um, the uh, huh? Um, the uh, th know the benefit of. We will go with the certainty, the certainty that what we have that he's a people of the book, and we are allowed to eat, and we don't go and dig, we don't go and ask. Which one did you mention? Did you mention the name of Allah? Or the, we don't ask this question. Even with the Muslim, we don't ask. Yani when you go and you are invited by any Muslim, we don't ask them, oh, this is halal or... Uh, yeah. You do? Yeah. <laughs> you are not, this is not... Precisely. No, this is not... Uh, uh, No, but this is again, it's the Sunnah because the Prophet, peace be upon him, was invited in many houses and he did not ask. And he was invited in the houses of the Jewish people and he ate. For we, if, as far as he's Muslim, then this is the food of the Muslim. 
This is the food of the because if, if you open the door of asking a question, then why don't you ask about, even if he's giving you uh, 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 vegetables, about the source of money? If he's getting from halal or haram, if it's interest involved or not, we'll go over all of these details. Uh, um, we don't ask as far as he's Muslim, then he is a Muslim. We don't dig, we don't ask. But he said, we treat the, the unknown situation in the same way that the Quran said, eat from their meat, then we don't go and ask if they did it, uh, if they did. Uh, and this, uh, the situation of most of the meat, you buy it in the stores, in the countries, they have the vast majority Christian of it. Um, we don't go and ask them if they did a slaughter um, according to the Islamic law, saying uh, in the, uh, Bismillah or not. As far as they are people of the book, then uh, we, um, we are allowed to eat from this, this way. Yes, b because this involves another matter. If it's, if it's clear cut that the meat in these stores was slaughtered, regardless which name is mentioned, as far as we don't know, you are allowed to buy. The issue uh, of um, the, uh, the meat in, in non-Islamic countries involves two things. The first one is uh, slaughtering itself because regardless even if he's a Muslim but he did not slaughter we will not eat from uh, we will not eat from his meat for slaughtering it's a mandatory mentioning the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this uh, the, the discussion that I mentioned for two things involved um, the problem here that in this country that before they do slaughtering for um, the big animals and the small animals, they treat them before. Sometimes for uh, um, um, a way of mercy, sometimes just to control. For in most of the big animals, they um, shoot them in the head with a small, tiny, uh, similar to the baby gun, but it's a metal and very uh, strong. They should adhere to make them drowsy. When we, um, um, the, a Muslim committee here in this country investigated the matter, they said there is a slim chance for the animal to die because of this small bullet. It's a slim chance, very benign. Yani out of maybe 1,000, maybe they lose one. However, they are obligated by law to cut off the, um, uh, the, the veins, to uh, suck out the blood. They are obligated by laws. And this is the slaughtering. Yes, they might not do it in the same way that we do three, three uh, veins, um, but at least they, they, they get the blood out after making the animal drowsy. In this case, if you have out of 1,000, maybe one or two animals might die, we don't consider this percentage in Islam. We don't consider this percentage in Islam. This very small, um, why we don't consider it? Because the small things is not, is not that valuable. Um, for example, are we allowed to eat blood? No, blood is prohibited, right? But when you cook the meat, wash it 100 times. Huh? You will have blood, right? Because little bit. It's not a full cup, a cup of what? But little bit. Because of this little bit, you just you cook it. In the livers, wash it 100 times. You will see the, the, you will see the blood coming out. But still, because of this, um, we don't make it that hard that you have we judge the situation based on um, uh, not 100% certainty, but acceptable level of certainty. And then the big animals, mainly, they get slaughtered alive. 
They don't mention the name of Allah, it's another discussion. If you are strict Hanafi, then you have a problem. If you are not, like Shafi'i, um, like Hadith of Sayyid Aisha that the, um, um, someone said the, this latter, uh, no one mentioned the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this food, in this meat. He said, the Prophet peace be upon him said, say Bismillah and eat. You yourself say Bismillah and eat and this Hadith, uh, hadith Sahih. Um, for the small animals, like a chicken, they um, give them electricity shock because they don't take every chicken and <laughs> this will not work for them. You need millions of people to, uh, they sell millions of a chicken. You see how many people eating here, 300 um, millions people, they are eating a chicken day and night. Um, uh, and because of this, they get like a long line hanging them and they give a, a, a electricity shock to all of the animals to make them dizzy then one uh, and one belt they cut off the neck um, also after the investigation they said no there is those who the the, the chicken die uh, the chicken um, uh, die because of this electricity shock a higher percentage a considerable percentage and this is why um, the, um, those who are very strict, they said the meat is okay, chicken is questionable. Those who are saying um, uh, that they did the slaughtering and we are not certain that it's dead, you have to be certain that it's dead to say it's prohibited. If you are not certain, then it's, it's, it was slaughtered. Um, like the Shafi'i and the other opinion of Hanbali, they said both chicken or, or meat, you can, uh, you can eat. Um, sorry, it took longer than, oh, it's almost there. Any other questions or comment? Inshallah, next time we'll continue with the, um, the rules of Tasmiyah. We'll talk about some other occasions that we are highly recommended to, me, to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Barakallah.